Okay, can I have the Which one do you want? Dark green. Dark green? Okay. Now, this is called felt. Now, remember I said that felt comes in basic colors, black, gray, maybe navy, or maybe brown, or whatever. I also mentioned to you that you could have gone to Pearl paint, thank you. Pearl paint where they have pieces, pieces, actual pieces which would be more or less the size, but square, okay? And you would need two pieces. And in pearl paint, they do have like orange, green, and what have you, because why? It's a needle craft thing, okay? Yeah, Pearl Soho, the knitting store, has like every shade and every color. In felt? Yeah. yeah. Nice. Like it's every really single Okay. And it's really nice. <laughs> that one you gave me? Okay, okay, because. Uh, Whenever you go someplace and you find something uh, that I may have mentioned or you went on your own. Okay, so I got two places here. Uh, AK Fabrics. Um, that's where she got this from. And they have what? Just limited colors? They have, no, but they have, it's just one yard. You have to buy like one yard. You have to buy one yard. Do you need a yard? No. No. You can need pieces, okay? So the other, the other one, pass. this is by the piece only. Um, oh, wait a minute. Uh, that was um, the City Quilter? The City Quilter? The City Quilter has it. The City Quilter has everything. You can get a pattern, checker, any kind of felt with like designs even on it. Okay, so that's an idea for some of you, okay? Maybe you find a striped one. I don't know. Um, you know, that might be interesting because it's, we can cut it on the bias so that it chevrons in the back. I think that would be interesting. You know what I'm saying? Look at it. All right? It's on 38, right? It's on... Yeah, um, it's on 20-something. It's uh, 35th Street. 133 oh. West 35th Street. Okay? Mm -hmm. And they have colors by the piece. Yeah. It's by the piece. So you need two pieces because it has to fit on this. If you want to take this with you, by all means, take it with you. But don't yeah. lose it. Uh, okay? Pearl, they have it, like, they sell, so, like, I think, like, a foot by foot. But yeah, okay, that, that'll work. It doesn't, it doesn't have, like, that grainy texture. It's okay. It. It's more solid. Colors. It's okay. But we can it's okay. also just use our self. Yeah. You could use your self-fabric too. You have choices in this class, people. I want you to be able to make those choices, okay? All right? So, again, if you have another store that you found it and they have beautiful colors, by all means, you know, try. maybe you want to use navy blue on yours, you know, or something. Yeah. Okay? So, because felt is... Uh, non-woven and it gives both ways okay I need two pieces this is the shaper this is what I need okay now if you're doing this with self fabric Guess what? Cutting on. You have to do it on bias. bias. If anyone wants extra uh, light gray or dark, you can get it. Yes, you could sell it because it's you know yeah. she bought, it's nine dollars by the yard. So, okay. This way, nobody has to travel. I mean, someone who's doing black or something could possibly maybe use dark gray. Now, the center back has half inch seam allowance. Okay. You sew on the half inch line, and what I do is that usually when I'm sewing the center back on the felt, I go in with the needle, I'll sew all the way out here, and then I turn it and I sew again. I'm reinforcing it, okay? And again, just at the very end, you back tack. And if you're using self fabric, you have to follow this grain. We have to put it on bias. The under collar on a jacket is on bias if you're using self fabric, okay? If you're using felt, there's no grain on it because it's, it's like tissue. Again, um, we're going to sew this at center back, half inch in from the edge. When you get to the end, you could just turn it and then sew it again and back tack and back tack, okay? All right. Now, this one here, you bought that CL700, I think it's called? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, which is that right there. Sabrina, do you have, do you have a piece I don't of have that fabric. Right oh, you don't have it right here? Okay. No. All right. I have a piece here. Basically. What is that? It's just Now. Again, the reason I have this here is just in case I need it, because i got to show the lesson, and I can't wait, so. You have your grain line, which matches the selvage. This is my grain line, so I'm matching this to the gray line, the, the selvage line, like this. Okay? So this way, I'm cutting it on bias. There's a shoulder notch there. You can mark it, but we're not going to follow it anyway. In the center back, you can have half inch. You can mark your half inch. Oh wait, this is half inch to now one inch. Half inch. Before I cut, I'll put some pins. Now this is the actual collar shaper, okay? Which is going to be exactly the same shape as your collar. Now, we also did something like this for, we use a shaper for your flap. If you have a flap that's wimpy, you can do a flap shaper, use it as a fusible, because it's minus the seam allowance. This is minus the seam allowance, so this way you don't get a thick edge on the edge of the collar, okay? Again, the shoulder notch, I really don't need it, but I do need to mark the center back of the um, ruler, of the collar shaper. Remember, this doesn't get sewn, this gets pressed on. Okay? Perfect, okay. So that one has to be sewn first, sew this one first. I'm gonna put that one with this one together, okay? Now, there's another thing that you can do. If you feel that the edge of your collar, if you're using lightweight fabric, if you feel that the edge of the collar is too limpy, too wimpy, you could reinforce it again, okay? Now, you can take this here, and you can do like maybe an inch from the shoulder notch. That's too far back. It doesn't have to go all the way to the back. What you want to do is that you want to reinforce just the, the front of the collar, okay? So you can do this. So this part here, you cut on bias. You're cutting an extra piece that's gonna go on top of this one when you do your pressing, okay? That's if you feel that your fabric is too limpy, all right? Now, you're making your first jacket, we can feel the fabric and we can decide right then and there whether you need this extra piece or not, okay? This extra piece goes on top of this one after it's pressed onto your on the collar. All right? Just sew it off. Huh? 